The MPI fitting from our instrumentation group is a great example of innovation at the component level. Many times customers can't articulate what they need, and the seeds of a new idea come from observation. This team did a great job of observing and listening to the customer to discover new ways of creating value. We are part of the medium pressure instrumentation fittings team that introduced a fitting up to 15,000 PSI. Well, the product was primarily aimed at offshore platforms, mainly methanol injection and high pressure power units. They typically do that to keep the well from freezing up so that it continues to flow and uh, they can draw the reserves out. The industry had typically used fittings that weren't capable of achieving those pressures. And it really didn't like what the competition had just brought out because it used an exotic material. It became quite clear uh, what, that the problem was inherent across the industry in several applications. They were looking for something that was easy to assemble and didn't have maintenance problems. And that didn't really exist. They were tired of the workarounds, tired of, of building in drip trays and things to catch these leaks. Well, it, it was a pretty easy solution and it was a revelation that our engineering team had. And when they really began to listen to what the customer wanted, they had a whole new idea of a fitting that would solve these application needs. And we did it in a simple, efficient, and cost-effective manner. We've got three technologies that we've never put together. The idea of putting together something totally different than we'd ever put together before really brought out a new product that essentially extended us way beyond anything we'd ever done. And so we presented this along with the tools that we'd come up with to make the fitting up. And, uh, to see the expressions on their faces was pretty amazing. This took us into new heights and really put our competitors chasing us. People get hemmed into thinking what's already out there. And it's only when you step back and truly listen to what the customer needs that you begin to think of simpler ways to accomplish the result. Doing good discovery, listening to the customer's problem, and then going from there and coming up with a solution, uh, it, it confirmed the whole process of innovation and how to do it correctly.